Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a external REST API request using a UI builder. So I'm inside UI builder, uh, inside a test experience, and I've just created a new page. And uh, in this page, I would like to set up a uh, REST API request. So uh, we go down here to the data resources. And what we need to do is add a new data resource. And we just go here, add a new one, and we add a transform. There is a built-in um, REST request, but this only allows you to do internal ones, like within ServiceNow. So if you want to do an external request to an external resource, we need to do this through a transform. So this sets you up with a new transform. So we're going to call this um, Pokemon2 transform because we're going to use this Pokemon API and two because I've done this once to, uh, to test it before recording this video. Um, so there's no other things we need to do here right now. So we can save that, submit. I'm just going to remove my video to the right. And it says record not found, but I think that's okay. Update this page. We add Pokemon 2. We've got Pokemon 2 transform add. So that's the transform. So what the transform allows you to do, and you can always open it through this little link. Um, it allows you to, to run server-side script. Um, and that's useful because we can use server-side script to invoke a REST API request using the ServiceNow um, built-in REST message service. I'm just going to duplicate this tab and then we're going to go to the menu and there's a REST. Um, we've got a REST message here. So we need to set up a REST message. So you see I've done this once uh, before, but I'm going to do it again and call it Pokemon2. Pokemon2. And then we need to find the endpoint. So this one you can easily find by just going to Pokemon API. This is a well-known test API for developers. And we're just going to use this one here. So we just copy that. And we're going to... Um, that's the wrong one. We need the endpoint. So let's just delete that one. Um, Pokemon 2. No authentication, everything fine. That's okay, let's submit that. Let's go into Pokemon 2 that we just created. So it created a um, a method for us, the get method. And I think there's a way to test that here, right? Test, so we will press test if it allows me to click that because my video controls are there as well, test. There we see the response. So this one is in fact working. If we go back, there's a preview script usage button, which is very helpful because this allows us to generate some code. So this code, I'm just going to use um, this Chrome extension here, which is called SNUtils. Uh, give me a shortcut to go to background script. I use this by pressing command um, forward slash, will be, which would be control forward slash on Windows. This just brings me to the background script section very quickly where I can copy paste this and then we can do JS info response body just to, to make sure that this is working and to tweak it a little bit for our liking. So here we have all that information. Um, let's um, make it look a bit nicer using JSON stringify. Um, it's escaping everything. I'm not sure why it's doing that right now. Um, but that's okay. This looks, maybe there should be a JSON parse in here before. There we go, that looks better. Um, so let's just grab the first ability. That's what we want to get. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take, um, we'll say that the uh, var text is the response body. We're going to JSON parse that first. 
and then we want to get the uh, abilities and then that's an array and we only get the first item and then we want to get the uh, the name and let's gs info that we can get rid of this let's see if that works undefined why is it undefined Is that undefined? Oh, sorry. Abilities. And then we need to do ability. So there's a, and then it's name. There we go. We got limber. So that's what we want. So this, this we don't need. This is for authentication, that kind of stuff. This code is working. So let's put that into um, the transform where we can run server-side code. Let's format that code. Um, and then there is um, a way to do this. You need to put this in a function call and I keep forgetting what that is. Again, using the SNUtils, I can look up uh, this table and there's some existing ones here. So I'm just gonna look up Look, that's the function called function transform input. That's what we need. We surround that like that. And instead of GS info, we're going to return the text. Format the code. Save it. And now we should have the transform working. It the um, UI Builder tells us that something was updated, um, but now it complains about the permission. So this is uh, not so well documented, but what you need to do is you need to copy this sysid, go to the ACLs and create a new ACL for which um, you need to um, elevate your permissions. And so to do that, we need this frame here. So let's elevate our permissions first to security admin. Then we go to the ACLs. We create a new one. There's a special one for a UX data broker. As you can see here that the, even though it's called a transform, um, it's also called a UX data broker. So that's the one we need. We need to set it to execute, active, um, the name, we need to change the mode. Actually, this is the correct mode. Sometimes it's set to this drop down, which is a bit confusing. You change the mode, you copy the sysid, you save, and then you can turn off elevate permissions, update. And if we go back to UI Builder and we refresh, we can reload. We should have permission now to access this transform. So let's have a look. Uh, we need to add it again, I guess. It wasn't saved. Pokemon 2 transform, add. And there we have the output. There's still something wrong with the um, parsing. So let's see if we can uh, take care of that. I think we don't need this stringify anymore. Save that. Uh, we can re-trigger it by just cycling this. And there we go, we got output limber. We can update the page. That's fine. So that means once this is a data resource, we can use this and we can do that, for instance, uh, let's look for a component where we can use this quickly. We just want some, um, I think some rich text or something like that. We got stylized text. Oops, no, rich text is even better. Okay, config, edit HTML. Actually, no, that doesn't work. Um, 
So let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one as well. Let's add like a heading. Okay, we don't want the preset now. I'm gonna configure the component manually. So here we have the label. So instead of this um, free text, what we're going to do is we're going to bind the data and then there's uh, this variable data that we can use and here's our transform here's our output and there is our text so with those simple steps um, you can create an external rest api call and you can bind it to um, to your components or to different parts of your components and use them inside ui builder I hope that's useful. Uh, if it is, let me know and see you in the next video.